Welcome, everybody. Welcome to an early edition of today's live stream. Everything is good to go. In fact, everything's better than it was even yesterday, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Rasmus, Tyler, Jay Stewart, Zambo, all, all welcome. <laughs> all the people that were waiting all get kicked, and there's one, one viewer. One viewer. It's me, guys. It's me. All right. So, we're here, again, with um, the mountain. I wanted to do... What was it? The one... The, the live stream we had Monday. I wanted to continue that, but I realized that... I, I guess things must have... Oh, right. It crashed. And so, I had nothing but autosaves. And, unfortunately, I deleted all those when I was playing CK2 on my own. Oh, God. Okay, so that's why I can't continue it. I'm sorry. But, we have uh, the mountain that swims. And we just took Tyrosh, I believe. And I was thinking that I was going to have to do something about this because normally the Castle of the Bleeding Tower takes over as the top tile. It didn't in this case. And I think that's because we're a pirate fleet. We're technically not feudal. But if you can, and I, and I learned this just now, is pirate fleets can hold castle, fort, cities, and refuge holdings without penalties. So it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, it's all right. It might even make us more money in the long run. It says my merchant ships are conscripted. Is that true? My levies have gone through the roof, though, and Falia, possibly the best wife for us, has given, is, you know, pregnant with more children. Now, there is something else. There are some pirates here that got to be brought back into the fold. Uh, Galeros, House Galeros and House San, they must be brought back into the fold. In fact, their bloodline would be fucking amazing for uh, Gregor Clegane's children. Right now, though, we got some weird betrothals. I'm not sure what I was really doing last time. Hey, Mark. Um, is we've got weird betrothals. Like, we have... Our first daughter is betrothed matrilineally to a Lannister. So... That means their children will be Cleganes. And will actually inherit the Westerlands? Is that something I want to happen? I don't know if I want the Westerlands. And we get the blood of Cersei Lannister and Robert Baratheon, which is all very good. All well and good. I don't know. I, I guess we'll have to... I mean, that's okay. Then Lysa is betrothed to a sea star, naturally. Because we found the sea stars and their um, living relatives. Of which there's only... And we, we actually picked up both the boys, so their bloodline will live on through the Cleganes. And then Martin is not married to anybody. Melissa is betrothed to the other sea star. I have... Hold on. Go back. Go back. Go back. There's Lysa. And there's Doreen. So they're... Okay. All right. Well, all right. Okay. Martin's not married. Rasmus is betrothed to this lady here in Illyria, who helped us through a... Um, a very weird alliance to help us take Tyrosh, and she's still considered our ally. But I don't really know if I want Rasmus to marry an Ilvar. She is nine. So what we should probably do is make use of our allies as long as we can. We have another ally in the Shield Isles here somewhere. I'd have to I have to look it up again. But we have that, and then we have um, Surali, who has not been betrothed to anybody. And we got another child on the way. So... We are the pirate fleet of Clegane is great, except for we got some really bad stuff. Dishonorable, known murderer, yeah, if we could fix that, and we're not going to be able to fix that with a guy with um, <laughs> seven diplomacy. Reduce that. We need. Do we do need some time to, oh, here we go, Tiora. Apparently, women can be my justiciers. Maybe it's because I'm a pirate. Ternesia Vunati. Vun Vunati. He lost his sword. Did we take a sword? OMG, we took poison. Fantastic. I like it. And Gregor Clegane's mount, uh, the mountain's armor. 175 dual skill. And of all of our children, only Rasmus is slow. I'm sorry, Rasmus. Why the quality so low? He should make the defenses of the city better, though. True. What are you talking about, Tyler? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, I promise. Um, but we do have uh, Vunatis. Oh, they're they're they are prisoners of our um, of one of our vassals. Hmm. Casey's planning anything? Okay, that makes sense. 
not going to convert to the local religion. What I might do is have a red... Oh, she has red cheeks. All right. She proselytizing in Tyrosh. Fantastic. Scheming. Great. Improve my... Ah, let's, let's, let's leave that as it is. She's finished her education. Good, I guess. My cupbearer should be my son, who will most likely kill us. He'll most likely kill us. And an advisor. Let's get my son on the advisory board. Not that it really matters. First night is legal. I actually don't see the point of the first night. Um, and since we're pirates and we're going to be doing so much raiding, I feel like more levies would be the way to go. Hopefully that works out. And we're carousing? Really? Realm emancipated. Oh. Okay. I've taken Asan as a concubine. Okay. Um. I kind of want to see the San bloodline come into... Because if we're going to be pirates... We could break our, um, we could break the betrothal here, which would most likely dissolve our alliance with Illyria, which is fine, because I actually would like to take over Illyria and establishing my island empire. And then we could have Rasmus, no, Rasmus, that, that won't work. A female would have to marry into House San. I'm guessing most of them are married? No. Because pirate opinion is great, because we all have pirates, pirate vassals. Marshall's good. Of course, our opinion, eh, is okay. We might, I mean, when we take over the Basilisk Isles, we'll need that too. But increases the chances of looting artifacts after sieging enemy holdings and characters often skilled mariners, which means, or mariners, whatever, which I think will prevent us from getting scurvy. But the ability to get more artifacts after sieging stuff increases the chances of capturing enemy commanders. That would be so, so, so good. But then at the same time, getting control of the Westerlands could be enormous for us. I would also like to take the Iron Isles. Yeah, I don't know if I want the Westerlands. Like, if we take the Westerlands, I don't know if I want it. Hey, Al Sam, Stizzy's house, sup, hey. Uh, got Emperor, hey. Uh, you got any daughters available to name it? Oh, you got lots of children. Rasmus is the only named child. Uh, video quality is pretty AP and is usually higher. I don't know what to tell you, Tyler. It's it should be much higher than that. Uh, well, since you already mentioned, um, we got. I'll start renaming people right now. Cool. That would be Zambo, your second child, second in line. Can um, you try to reload the stream? Yeah, you should probably try reloading the stream. Take the mouse. Like Alice could be good. It would be. Can I have second son? Mark, yes. Yes, you can. Second son is... Oh, look. His name is Martin. He's already well on his way to being Mark. There you go. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, James Harris. I'm getting a, a PC soon. Can you make a what mods you have for CK2 vid? James, the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that because um, no one would watch it. Uh, people don't like to watch me do technical stuff. As far as modding CK2 goes, it's... Well, to me, it's super simple. To me, it's super simple. I don't... I can't make a video about it because nobody will watch it. Like, I... I, I, I yeah, it, I just... I'm not very good at, like, at stuff like that. My bad. I'm good at playing the game. Not walking people through mods. Third son. Tyler wants third son. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Has she given birth to that last last child yet? It might be a son. So, all right. It's, it's, it's on her way. It's on her way. But I'm just... Okay, so I think I am going to break that betrothal. God damn it. I can't have time pass anymore because I need to think about this. We have 16,000 soldiers. We could easily invade Illyria. Easily. But the problem is, is I don't know if that will actually work. Demand religious conversion. Yes, we're going to do that. I'm going to break... Well, mm. how many soldiers does the Arbor have? 1,000. They also have... They also control this. Why is he independent? If we have children that are on the Iron Throne, though, they will be very unlikely to attack us. We could take the Arbor, but the Arbor also controls this, which is kind of dumb. High Lordship of Brightwater. Maybe he'll get it usurped from him. 
And if we attack Euron Crow's Eye, I think I'd rather wait till Euron Crow's Eye is dead before I attack the Iron Isles. I mean, he's old. He could he could die from age any time now. But I would love to have the Iron Isles. I would love to have the Arbor. Illyria. I would love to have the Basilisk Isles. I, I want all Isles. And New Geese has got... Oh my god, we can even we can even invade them. That's Geese. The Gascari Hills are up here. New Geese. We could take this! What? We could take this. Large Gascari Castle. Legionary Barracks. And they're weak too. So, if we did do that... Are you allied to anybody? No, but he'll, he might get a coalition from Marine to help him though. So what happens if we win? If we win, um, Vassalizer take everything held by King Grazdan. I mean, it's another major island. God, could the Cleganes really take over all the islands? If we play our cards right, yes. And I know people are going to want me to take the Summer Sea. The Summer Sea is really like... The, <laughs> the only thing that's useful about the Summer Sea, unfortunately, is that you can make the Empire Tier title. And that's about it. There's not really much else t to do with the Summer Isles. Um, yeah. Yeah, we could even... We could even... We could even colonize Marahai. I never get to do that. So there's a lot of things we can do. It's just a... It's just... How do I go about doing this? Do I stay allied so I can make use of the Illyrian troops, but then miss out on the chance to get... Well, Rasmus doesn't matter who he marries. He's just going to pass on the Clegane line anyways. So who he marries doesn't really matter. Um, the daughters, though... See, Zambo, you ensure that we might have a potential... Um... Well, no, her heir is Edric Storm. I don't think she would marry Zambo. Or Rasmus, sorry. But we could break this betrothal. We would lose the Sea Stars, but like, I want the Sand Blood though, and he's got a lot of children. Unmarried son. Married son. Married son. Unmarried son. Another unmarried son. And we have one, two, three, four daughters. If I concentrate my efforts, I can get most of my daughters to pack. Because that's one thing I do wrong, I feel like, is I just I try to branch out into too many bloodlines all at once. We can't do that. We have to consolidate. We have to, like, you know, because, w yeah, we need to consolidate our bloodlines. That would leave us pretty much without any allies, though. I mean, we have 16,000, though. Do we need more? I could probably take the Iron Isles too right now. No, well, maybe. Assuming the AI doesn't cheese the society system and imagine and and but it's just it's your own crow eye. I don't want to fight him. I want to wait till he's dead from na you know old age or some shit. So the arbor would be nice. These two islands would be nice. I'm not going to take Lease because Lease is a shitty island. It's just a shitty island. It's just shit. Just just we'll keep it there just to farm gold from. But Illyria's good. Gee sounds good. Gain and Nugi sound good. Noth might even be good. And the Basilisk Isles. The Isle of Tears would also be great. Huge Summer Fortress. Is that as big as Tyrosh? Oh, they're even. Except Gagosos can make gold mines. So that is that is much, much, much better. And then we've got Vahar. Large Vahari Castle. Um... No gold mines or anything. Drakhar. Alright. Zabad. Large Zabadi Fort. So that's actually pretty under underdeveloped. Large Zabadi Castle. Yeah, you don't have much special shit there. I've never taken Pharos before. Like, imagine conquering all of this. And this island. What am I going to do? 
Max Goodspeed. Well, first of all, welcome. Skagos and Ibn, marry a Mormont. No. I don't want to do that. Mara High and the island close to it has gold mines. Yes, Mara High and the other island close to it is is uh, the Manticore Islands. Basilisk Isles are easy to conquer right now, and that would get us close to East and Mara High. True, and creating the title gives Bloodline and Valyrian Steel Sword. True, also true. You can make the Empire to your title, then grant all the islands their independence immediately. I could, if I felt like not managing it. Mm. Could you colonize... The Shattered... Uh-oh. YouTube's telling me something. What is this? What? It's telling me something about... Uh, uh, what? 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 Open widget? Ah, uh, what does that do? What am I doing? I'm breaking everything, chat. I'm sorry. Stream says... It says it's good! God damn it, YouTube. What are you doing to me? Okay. I feel like I have to act. And... We've already been emancipated... Which expires 83, 8, 18. So six years, we cannot have slaves. We could we could try to reinstitute them. We actually can't either. Mm. What will the Iron Throne do? I feel like it's a Hail Mary, though, to assume that... Look, I don't want the Westerlands, all right? You can keep it, Tommen. He wields ice. Then what does she wield? Robert's Warhammer, naturally, and the Fire Sword, and Heart Eater. Okay. Um, break non aggression pact. Mm. This does mean they will not attack me, but I'm not. We, we've already were attacked before. How many men does Marine have? It's fucking Daenerys. How old are her dragons? Not that old, but she's dishonorable, married to a Dothraki, and has 7,000. Yeah, I know we could invade. Look, she's probably not going to help new geese. Most likely not. Karth might, though. How many ships do they have? More than enough. They got some land down here, too. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use my allies in Illyria to invade the Arbor, these two islands, and New Geese. All at the same time. How do I have s a monthly bounce? Oh, I control Tyrosh. That's, that's right. Alright, then how many... Corsair King of the Basilisk Isles. Oh, God. <laughs> he controls only one island. He calls himself the Corsair King, and yet he has only one island. It's 56 men. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Okay. But, yeah, the Basilisk Isles are, dr are just laughably weak. Laughably weak right now. Could easily conquer them as well. All right. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to ball out. Is this really a good idea? Should I be waiting till like, this is done? New administration, 33. No, that's going to be, it's going to take too long. Because this is the capital. If we start fighting, they're going to come down on us. I might as well get the garrison up, at the very least. What is this? Supply limit, local tax modifier, A350. Okay. So, sorry, guys. Uh, I want to roll out, but... Um, you're in, okay, you're trained troops. We need to get the garrison up in Tyrosh. Because, as you all know, when we declare war, everyone will start dogpiling it. And that's the capital. This is, this is my first tile here, so... Unfortunately, that's what we have to do. Um, but as for my as for my vassals go, as far as my vassals go, demand religious conversion. Um, invite, invite, invite. Tell Rasmus to change his goddamn um, religion as well. And actually, send out the carousing invitations to all my vassals and to my relatives. Zambo, who teaches the Lady Triana, has been studying the principles of the Valyrian faith. You, Zambo, you are now a religion. You are uh, so. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. If you, if you're a pirate fleet, but you're Valyrian, does that mean you're Valyrian, but you can still act like a pirate? And she's giant and huge. She's giant and huge. Yeah, that's the same shit. God damn it. She's giant. She's strong and giant. Um, as Zambo. Uh... Let's see, the Sea Star. Do we really want the Sea Star? I don't know if I want the Sea Star. I feel like we've already done that. We haven't done the Sand Blood. Let's see, you have a thousand men. 
Okay, here's what we can do. Let's just take over the rest of the islands here. I don't know if Mega War does your claim on the skulls. Oh, what the hell? YouTube, stop it. What does that mean? It's not receiving enough video to maintain something. Open the widget. Okay, show me what is... It's poor. What does that mean? That's not my fault. I haven't changed anything. That's annoying. If you become the guardian of your son, you go to and you go to war, you are leading an army that he cannot be captured in a siege because he is with you. Interesting. Football teams are bigger than that king's levy. Yeah, true. If you defense in Tyrone, you get over to fort level 10. My children are going to be able to have like three wives now. But will they also be like pirates? That's what interests me the most. Because your, pi your, your government type is pirate. Mmm. Alright. So, yeah. A thousand men... I think we can handle some pirates. Now, do I want to do... Yeah, let's just do a pirate invasion. Claim the skulls. No. If you guys are noticing a drop in quality in the in the live stream, please let me know. Because YouTube's blowing me up with all sorts of warnings and stuff. Fast lies or take everything. We might get... No. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's claim it. Does your claim. And the reason I'm going to do that is that if I attack him, it's going to give other nations the ability to attack me too. Does your claims, they can't do that, I believe. Um, oh, truce breaker? I don't want to be a truce breaker. Oh, she's our concubine. Gotcha. Not that it makes a difference. Alright, so we can't take him over until he's dead. Can I kill him? No. Alright, we'll have to deal with that guy not being re uh, re re rebellious at the moment. So go ahead and break this. Break all the, uh, the, the patrols. Good practice. It's a good practice to do this. Just kidding. You shouldn't be doing this. All right, and Cyrilai. All right, son. You have boys. I want you to marry Zambo matrilinearly. It's not allowing me to for unknown reasons. False religion. He hates me. Weird. Did I sell that son? <laughs> did I sell that son into slavery? I did, didn't I? Oh, shit. Gregor, what are you doing? All right. No. Norello is too high in the line of succession. Is he? Is he now? He doesn't seem like it is to me. You would dare insult me. By denying me. He doesn't like me. I could try to kill his wife and and get him to marry Zambo. Matrilineally, of course. But then again, he's just going to be like, Oh, he's too high in the line of succession. I think that's what's going to happen. He's going to say he's too high in the line of succession. That's bullshit. You're a pirate, dude. What do you care about that? God damn it. Are you still interested in an Oberon playthrough? Yeah. Yes, I am. Um, unfortunately, you need to land him with cheats, which is why it's an unusual start. Yes, this is true. It shouldn't be that difficult. Look, just, I think I've played as Oberon before. I just had to kill off Duran. Kill off Duran, and I believe Oberon can take over. No, 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 no. That has to be before um, Duran has children, though. Well. That's annoying. Um, because I wanted that dude's pirate bloodline. Um, I don't suppose you would have any children. Yeah, you do, actually. He's a bastard, though. Torgan. And you would do it matching. You, what? You would, he, okay, no. His heir says it's Torgan, but the way the Ironborn work, it's a little bit different. Problem is, is that if we're married to him, what blow lines do you have? Skilled mariners. I think it's mariners or mariners. I don't know. Tend to be brave. Increases the chance of looting artifacts. Yes. And lots of martial. A Clagane Greyjoy alliance. That could be... That could be a thing.
All right, I have to check. Melissa, do you have my bloodlines, right? Okay. We're going to throw our hats in with the Ironborn. Why? Because they are fellow pirates like us. And I have a good feeling about it. Matrilineal. Melissa. Melissa's our oldest... No, she's not our oldest daughter. Okay, let's see if this... Let's see if the Euron agrees. Could you take over the Ibid and colonize the Shattered Islands in the um, islands of the Nagai Horde? I don't know about those islands. I don't even know if they still exist. Oh, they do! I remember I remember in an older version of, a, of a, a GOT where this was actually... You could actually play as the fish people. But now it's just considered a ruin. Then there's the Jogos Nai. What happens if you colonize the Thousand Islands? The guy. Strange insular people, little known. Um, they typically utilize a levy of lightning from trees supported by... Yeah, okay, so they fight wars just like everybody else, but they follow the, the fish gods. <laughs> Whatever that is. The fish gods. You worship the fish gods. The bizarre fish-headed gods worshipped by the strange peoples of the Thousand Islands. So I'm guessing the fish people are gone. I think it's like Nagai who just like to live on islands. And that religion is super... Uh, scripture, the soldier. Okay. Almost doesn't even... It, 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 it's, it's... Yeah, weird. You guys, the gods of Nagai. Okay. Hold on, what was... um. Ruin. Okay. But the Ibn, like the actual Ibn, the proper. Um, you guys, do you guys have a lot of soldiers? Not really. But it's something. More islands, I guess. And Lorath would be a great addition. You know what? I never really check out Lorath. Lorath is a city, obviously. Lorathi Maze gives Fort Level 5. Awesome. Temple of the Moon. Castle of Archon's Keep. Huge Lorathi Fortress. Fuck yeah. Of Lonely Harbor. Who is this guy? I don't care. I, I don't I don't know that guy. Alright, so uh Squid Face agreed. Now, will you betroth um Zambo matrilineally to somebody? There's Quellen Great He's a he's a bastard though. The bastard of Pike. Does he have the bloodlines though? Does he have the bloodlines of the it, it still ha okay, great. Why is Euron Crow's eye willing to marry all of his chillins matrilineally? No, okay, so it's too high in the line of succession, which is bullshit. He's actually, um, it's bullshit. He's actually, um, not in the line of succession, but he's a formidable warrior, though. Just kind of why I wanted him. I think we should just pick up as many Greyjoys as we can. That's what we're going to do. All right, we'll wait to see if he agrees to that. Then we can marry Lysa. Oh, right. I can't carouse because I declared war. I'm an idiot. Um, but while that's all going on, we can raise our levies. Um, yeah? Levies, please? Wow, you guys have shit all for levies. Ah, that's where the majority of them are. Alright, raise your fleets. I need the pirate dudes to raise their fleets. Alright, and he's agreed to that marriage. Excellent. Now, Lysa matrilineally to Lauren. Done. Cleganes and Greyjoys. And the Greyjoy bloodline is going to make our children good at sailing. Thought about naming somewhere the Pirate Bay. The Pirate Bay. We can name Tyrosh the Pirate Bay. The Pirate Bay. And this will be the city of pirates. <laughs> yeah. I probably can just put this down as... Um, no, let's put this as Pir Pirate Island. Pirate Island, city of pirates. Uh, the Bleeding Tower the Bleeding tower is kind of... It's our bastion. It's, it's Tortuga. We should, name, we should name the island Tortuga. <laughs> City of Pirates, Castle of Pirates. So that should work. Tortuga, City of Pirates, Castle of Pirates, Temple of Pirates. 
Wouldn't this be Temple Temple? Temple of Temple of Trios, yeah. It'll be pirates. So the Temple of Pirates, City of Toshi Harbor, Fountain of the Drunken God. That makes sense. All right. So Lysa betrothed, Zambo betrothed, Melissa betrothed, Cyrilai needs to get betrothed to more Greyjoys. Mark is... Yeah, Mark is learning. Um, You're training troops in Tortuga. Excellent. We need to see if there's more Greyjoys. Specifically if they've got the Dalton bloodline. Oh, my. Isn't... No, that's Balon. Torgon's betrothed to our child. Balon. Ah, ah, ah. You're one? Matrilineal. Yes. Why? Why do they agree? Blood of the twice crowned. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, this is such a good idea. Oh, he's currently considering an offer. Okay. We have to just be patient. Our entire family will marry Greyjoys, and we will take their blood. We will take their blood. Um, let's do that again. Todrick. Lelia, matrilineal. Ha ha. The cl yes, the dogs and the kraken. Um, sweet. All right, he's got a lot more soldiers than I thought he would. Um, 17, we have barely enough. No, actually, you guys get on the on the ships. You guys march here. Because these, these mutineers, I'm pretty sure, will attack us if we go there. That's the good stuff. You get a vassal, name of Sparrow. Yeah, right? Can you rename the stepstones to the Dog Isles? And if you make the Empire to title, name it the Kingdom of the Fang Sea. You already conquered Ibn with Renly. I technically inherited it, but yeah. The Dog Isles. This, yes, we could do that. Because we are the dogs. It is the Isle of Dogs now. And we actually lead. Is Can my son not be a, 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 com a commander? Rasmus. That's what I'm talking about. So now we're going to have an army <laughs> with two, essentially two Gregor Cleganes. One Gregor, one Rasmus. Who is this guy? He's got insane dual skill. He's the dude I think we took the sword from. Yeah. All right. Prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. Um, as for the Stepstones, Kingdom of the Stepstones, Kingdom of the Stepstones, the Dog Isles. Hold on. Name the Hound Isles. The Isle of, the Isles of Hounds. No. It'll be the Dog Isles. And adjectives will be... What's an adjective? What, furry? I don't, I don't know. What's an adjective? Fixing my light a little bit. Your family full of giants? Yes, Jamie. Yes. This is the power of bloodlines. Now I'm going to have nightmares about a dog-squid hybrid. Oh, it's beautiful. This playthrough turned out better than I thought. This man created the most vicious family. They're going to rule the high seas. The dog isles. Um... I don't know. What is an adjective for, 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 for dogs? Furry? Because it's asking for an adjective. Giant. Giant dogs. Kingdom of the Dog Isles. All right. Now let's go bring these guys into the fold here. This should be interesting. And so all of our daughters now are betrothed to um, Greyjoys. Matrilineal, of course. Struggle. Struggle. Mark, you need to marry somebody. It doesn't really matter who you marry. In fact, I would rather have you marry, um... You both, Rasmus and Mark. You guys could actually marry for alliances. Alright, get that morale up there. But I'm thinking, um... We are out... Yeah, we're a little bit outnumbered. But this way, we're using my vassal's levies and not my own. Yeah. Court Bard has one diplomacy. My trusted and devoted Chamberlain just brought to my attention that one of the serving maids have given birth to a child. According to him, my son is the father. Good for him, Rasmus. Good night's sleep. A pleasant accommodation of previous nights have increased his character's well-being and senses. Man, I need a couple good nights sleep. That's my boy. All right, see how this battle... All right, so outnumbered already. 
They're hitting my son in the center quite, quite hard. Um, fight. Oh, Rasmus. You disappoint me. Alright, that guy escaped. But, don't worry, Father is here to save you. I think. Yeah? Is that gonna work? That, um, sort of worked. They have more soldiers than we do. Um, we must pursue. We must pursue. Can I win this with only 800 men? I would laugh pretty hard if I could. Found Clegane armor. I don't think my son has armor. No, he doesn't. Clegane armor. Yeah, we got more than enough. We got more than enough. I think we have to be at peace, which is kind of weird, but whatever. I can speed this up a little bit. Excellent. Now, unfortunately, we don't have enough to uh, actually siege the castle. You separate from your men! Hrano wants to fight. We could send in Sir Poliver, the Star of Torturers Deep, but I think, I think it's been a long time since Gregor has had a good fight. Prepare to die. He just flees. Everyone flees from us. Ah 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 ah. Hrano was captured. Hilarious. What is this? Ind independence, huh? Blackmail. My lovely wife, Falia, will, uh... Ah... Uh, that didn't work. Songs will be sung of this day, indeed. Alright, so I think now we actually need to, um... Still only 8,000... If I raise my levies, how many, how many will I have? 12,000. I don't really want that many. I don't really want that many soldiers. Um... I get another 500 from Little Tyrosh. And probably from Tarosha Landing. I need to give Tarosha Landing um, independence, though. Because I don't want any of my land to be attached to the mainland of anything. It makes it too easy for them to attack us. I want them to have to come to us through via ships. Um, in saying that, yeah, you've got no men. Just grant independence. Yep, there you go, buddy. You're welcome. There we go. Yeah, attrition. So much attrition. Um, lots of strong people. Um, are we going to have enough? I don't care about that. I've got prisoners. I have got prisoners. Can I sell any of them? A lot of them have been in my dungeons for a long time. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. As long as we don't lose 200 men, we'll be good. And that, that should be an easy win. Um, and then how old is your betrothed? We're making some good money. That's the trick. Just take over Tyrosh and you'll get all the money you need. I need to see if I'm getting uh, penalties for having too many high lordships. Surrendered, stole my sword. I have a lot of people who hate me. Just looking to see if I can't do something about that. I am, yeah, universally despised by my most of my vassals, and I do not blame them. Who is this? You're leading a mutiny of my man here. I'm okay with that, actually. My friend wants some stuff. He wants the High Lordship of the Western Stepstones. Who currently owns that? Oh, we do. Hell yeah, I'm going to grant that to you. Done. Pirate Lord Rupert. Good. In exchange for a favor. Well, I guess I can do both. I suppose it won't really matter. I don't know who Ferrega is. Okay, so with these guys here... I'm trying to get the garrison to be back to 4,000 before the major wars begin. However, all the people I had planned on invading may have rebuilt their armies in the meantime. Except for the Arbor. The Arbor is just not coming back for some reason. Don't know. Um, that should be easy enough to take. The blood of Clarence Clegane flows through my veins since the days he walked this earth. 
Uh, we abandoned our ways of following the faith of the seven. No. No. 9,000. So she's built up more soldiers, but she is an ally of ours. The Basilisk Isles would be very easy to take. What about... What about Lorath? In Magister Dino of Lorath's War for Lorath. What? Oh, we can't because we've raised levies. Now might be the time to take over Lorath. What? That's going to expand my empire significantly, though. Oh, yeah, this is the one I wanted to look at. Geese. Release all prisoners. Uh, put the family into house arrest. You lose, buddy boy. You lose. And you are now a vassal of ours. Excellent. Lower, you know, lower the levies. Oh, now I'm sick. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Am I going to get cancer or something? Oh, nope, we're fine. Okay, we can't, we cannot dither. We cannot dither. We must attack now. Attack, invade new geese. I want these islands. Give them to me. And yes, I'm going to call my ally into it. And I'm actually also going to attack the arbor. Um, invasion of this. Ha, ha, ha. All right. And then we're going to invade all the Basilisk Isles too. Why? Because I can. Pirate invasion. Pirate invasion of the th three. Ooh. Oh, he controls two places. That's going to be... That's a little awkward. Oh, that is awkward. Okay, we got people who control multiple things. Um, Already at war with you. I'm going to declare war on you. Invade, invade, invade. Our ally is going to be like, what the, what the hell is this? All right. So we win. This will give us the Basilisk Isles. I actually can't declare war on him for some fucking reason. Can I invade Noth? I could. Collectively, we should have more soldiers than all of them put together. You know what? We can invade Noth later. I want to fixate on getting all of this here and the arbor. Who am I going to give this land to? I have to give it to new vassals. Um, yeah, your alliance is helping us so far. Uh, she's 12. They will soon get married. So I'm going to have to break this alliance very, very soon. First month, she turns 13. And then the 14th year, we need to break the betrothal before that. Because I want to invade Illyria. I don't want them to be allies. Excellent. Call ally into all wars. I don't care if you don't want to fight. Everyone fights. Um, I don't have land anywhere else, right? No, that should be it. The mountain is making his move. Yes. Now, how many people are going to form coalitions? Of course, I'll honor my obligation. Yes, you will. If you take the arbor, you could do the same thing for their chunk of mainland. Ooh, this is true. This is not good. Oh, fuck. This is balls. So this is happening because I broke the betrothal I had with Tommen, which was giving me a non-aggression pact with the Iron Throne. And because of that, they're now going to defend the Arbor, which makes sense. Alright, we can't afford to fight the Iron Throne. We, we can't afford to fight them, period. Invite to plot. Uh, decline. Um, so the invasion of the Arbor, let's see. Let's see. We pay 300 gold. All lands held is returned. We lose 200 prestige. It's not pretty. It's not pretty, but we cannot fight the Iron Throne. We cannot. It will destroy all of our levies, and we all know how hard I worked to get those levies. God damn it, Joe. What have you done? What's wrong with Cersei? Oh, she's bedridden and sick from cancer and stuff. Okay. All right. Ugh, that sucks. I lose some money. Not too much, but I lose some. In fact, that might even bankrupt me. Fine, we surrender. Don't attack us. 
Don't attack us. Por favor. Alright, merge these together. And I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't camp my capital. Camp my capital, let my enemies come to me. Fine. Whew. Okay. That saves us from getting dogpiled by the Iron Throne. We all know how much they like doing that. Alright, yeah, they are coming with they're coming with troops. So let's just Question is, is where are they gonna land? Are they gonna land? Or are they just gonna wait till um What I'm gonna tell my ally to do is I want you to siege stuff. We will hold our capital and yeah, I would rather I would rather Yeah, I lead in my own flank twelve thousand men. Jesus. Alright, get that other asshole over here. Well, that's unfortunate. Your enemy has been captured. Oh, fantastic. Excellent. One war down. Alright. So, no one's coming into eight of these guys. Where are their ships? He's raining there. Okay, a hundred Giscari ships are, are landing. They're coming. Are they gonna... Get my, get my troops out of here. Actually, get them down to least. Give me a little bit of, um, fog of war there. So they're not going to land their troops until they outnumber us. Which should, in theory, mean that this place is totally undefended. It means everything's undefended. There we go. That's what I like to see. 9,000 men. She's, she's, she's doing all the legwork for us. All we have to do is just sit back and relax. Except my treasury is getting quite fucked. Um... I'll pay interest on behalf of my rival? Hell no! I'll issue a reprimand. In fact, I would love to throw him in the dungeons right now. 600 men. He is Lord of Torturer's Deep. What is this dude's problem? Did I not give you Torturer's Deep? Probably not, right? Princess Zombo. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem. Is I, I kind of... I kind of need my money. I'm sorry, Zambo, but... All right, and I'm going to torture this guy. Um, and I can't ransom or sell anyone into slavery or anything. Shit. All my slaves were released, too, in the, in the, in the great emancipation by the Iron Throne. It's just a bullshit reason for the AI to attack the player. All right, I feel like we need to do something. We need to get... We can't just wait. We need to... Hold on. They'll take my capital. I'm gray in the face already. I've got my son with me. But they may take the capital. Now they're landing. Can we get there before they do? <laughs> so we just cheesed them into landing their troops. Unfortunately, we have 50 morale. They're also going to have 50 morale, but they're doing a naval landing. So this should go very well in our favor. Why did Galeno get all the troops? Yo, what's the deal with that? Auto balance. Yeah, why? Okay, apparently when they hopped on the ships, they gave all the troops to Galeno. It should be mine. I think I fixed it. All right. Boom. And they land with less soldiers than we have. Oh, God damn, we outnumbered them two to one. Amphibious landing. Fighting in our own territory in the Isle of Tortuga. Come on, wreck them. Wreck yeah, blackmail. Utterly destroy them. There we go. Boom. I think his army was utterly wiped out. 2,000. His children's all in hiding. Why are they in hiding? Because our allies there. <laughs> now, I don't think anyone even has the ability to take our capital now. Yeah, no one does. Corsair, yeah, you don't. You don't. So that means one thing, and one thing only. It is time we go on the offensive. And it is time we do something with this garrison of mine. Um, how about we split it in half. And I'll take this enormous army and we'll send them home. And then this army here... Uh, I can raise them from here too, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. In case they try to land more troops, we can just sally out and crush them before they take my top tile. This army here is going to go 
to the Basilisk Isles. And we're going to bring the wolves. The wolves. We're going to bring the, the hounds. The hounds will be brought to the Basilisk Isles. I would love to see the Iron Throne dissolved. I would absolutely love to see them break up into um, a million different states. That would please me greatly. That way, uh, that way, the shadow of the Iron Throne doesn't. Um, what is this? Isle of Flies mutiny. Okay. Let's wait for them to get out of here. All right, now land. Problem is, is that because they're already occupied, we might not be able to take the shit. Or we can. Lou Lord Commander. All right, to save my troops, I'm not going to assault. We're just gonna wait. Good news, Lysa gets diligent and diplomacy. So much for the famed legions of geese, am I right? Can you kill Sandor? Then name a then name a sword hound bane. Why would I want to kill? Joe, is there a daughter available? Can I be the next one? Yeah, there should be a daughter. There's lots of daughters. You can be Lysa. You will be marrying Lauren Greyjoy matrilinearly. And you'll be bringing them... Oh, uh, Jay, you got to give me a name for her, though. Because I know you don't... I know you uh, don't usually name... Okay, now I'm getting my balance back. Great. The enemy has been captured. Take his own family. Offer peace. Vassalize or take everything. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, we do take it. Oh, shit. Large Giscari Castle. And I can build a pirate in there, too. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. Cast Castle of Pirates, Lordship of New Geese, Lordship of Tyrosh, Lordship of Last Refuge. Why do I have Last Refuge? All right. That means I can give it to somebody who likes me. Someone who has been good. Polliver, um, Galeno's an asshole. Polliver, I like you. I'm going to give you. Um, before I do that, I'm going to demand religious conversion. And then I'll give you land, buddy. He'll regret this, fucking asshole. Um, I can't give him land then. All right, Polliver, you piece of shit. Pirate Lord Rupert. Sir Rafford. Convert already. All right. He's a true believer now. I can grant you land. You will have last refuge. Parrot Lord Rafford with his crew of 12 men. What is this? Captain 99 because he haven't won a major battle yet. He has seven guys. He has seven guys. Whatever. Whatever, I don't care. Let me be a kid, too. All right. Um, we got Lysa now becomes Reyna. Can you believe we have all giant and strong children without cheats? That's amazing. And then James wants a character. Uh, Reyna Clegane. But I don't know if I have any more ch We got Mark. We don't have any more boys, though, James. Asking politely probably is not going to work. Because our diplomacy is a pathetic eight. Well, you know, my justiciar, her job... And she's my rival, too. Yeah, you're not someone I can trust with repairing my reputation. Um, apparently, there's no one that I can trust with that. Repair my reputation, please. All right. Um, and then how old is this wench? All right, we got to break this betrothal, like, right now. Fuck. Yeah. Is he missing an eye? How did Rasmus lose an eye? That must have happened some time ago. So is she still with me in this war? Yeah. <laughs> Little does she know. The hounds will soon turn to her. I don't think I need to reward my wife. Did not abandon friendship, friend, lover. Yeah, do we really need to give her anything? We made her into a pirate queen. 
Would you be able to convert to fish gods or reform it? I doubt it. I'll be a female and name her Nymerus. Nymerus. We got Reyna, we got Zambo, Reyna, and then Melissa has to be uh, Nymerus. Nymeris. <laughs> Nymeris Clegane. Tyrosh. Um, she should learn how to be humble. I love how my ally still wants to, <laughs> still wants to help me fight. I like it. Ah, I become good friends with Mark. I am s all right. So now that Rasmus is single again, he can marry someone. And and and, ooh. Uh. Apparently, we took Yaskar moments before Mar uh, Daenerys did. She may attack us. Demands vengeance? Oh, yeah, we did kill some of her siblings, didn't we? Prince Beleron. Right, she may attack us. She's actually taken North Valyria as well. Karth, hmm. you may be in trouble. Alright, so now that we have Rasmus, you know who I would love to have a non aggression pact with? The Iron Throne. <laughs> Cynthia, how about Eleanor? Come on. Oh. Oh, come on. Political, concer political concerns. Yeah, I think she's smart enough to know what's going to happen. So a Lannister is going to marry a Lannister. Why is that not surprising? How about Marcella? Ellard Kel Kettleback. Uh, okay. So we could always marry Lord Paramounts. Um, Arianne died clutching out her heart. You, Mr. Oberyn, have lots of daughters. And then most of them are going to be married, right? Yeah. Tommen rules the West. Harold the Tyrant. Alice Stone has been married already. It's a shame. She would have made a good... Good couple for Rasmus. There are no Greyjoy females, I believe. Asha, why? Well, slain by Iron King Euron. Theon has had two children. Euron has had multiple children. Victorian had Yara. And there's Aeron. Hmm. Yeah, we need Rasmus to marry someone for a powerful alliance. <laughs> yeah, and Illyrio was gone. All right, so um, Daenerys didn't actually conquer all this. She does get this weird event where if she stays in Slaver's Bay and she wins all her wars, she um, vassalizes everyone who is a High Lord, pretty much. I, I know this because I played as Illyria and randomly got vassalized by Daenerys when she won her Wars of Conquest or some shit. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Are you too far away to... Prince Lu, what is going on in... Oh, that's a, this is Yin. Yi-Ti. Yi-Ti. Do you have anyone that can marry Erasmus? No. No. Of the of what dynasty is it? Chai. The Chai dynasty. I don't see anybody. Fuck. Erasmus, I don't know who you're going to marry. I guess, Grasmus, you could just tell me who you want to marry. That could also work. Could betroth the daughter to her son for an aggression pact. Don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, you killed Aegon Rhaenys, her niece and nephew. Yeah. Elder Storm is second in line for Iron Throne, I believe. What better way to heal the wounds than Martell's marrying Cleganes? Yeah, right. Now I can afford to give good educations. <laughs> I am sorry, Zambo. Alright, take them all into house arrest. I could castrate him. I don't think I want to do that. Did I vassalize this too? I took this. I took the Isle of Serpents. Well, we can put someone else there who's more loyal. And I also took Death Isle, right? No. This guy became my vassal. So it's kind of random with the whole, like, it pirate invasion, whether or not we vassalize or take all their shit, you know? Um, so the Isle of Serpents needs to go to somebody. Needs to go to somebody good. Somebody I trust. Pirate Lord. Yeah, that's my friend. 
Um, could put Galeno in charge, although I don't trust him at all. So they're, they are Astapori. I don't think I have any Astapori in my courts. In my courts. Um... Hmm. Reynald, you may not work, because you have very weak uh, Marshall. Yeah, but he doesn't like me. Why doesn't he like me? Unrewarded service. This is true. This is true. Um, yeah, I'll give it to you. Congratulations! You fell in the river, and you were rewarded with land. Not particularly good land... But, um, Unsullied Camp. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Just torturing more people. Still can't repair my reputation. Uh, have risen up in Wreckstone. Well, hopefully somebody will deal with that. Alright. Mark, why not a, a buzz-off kid? No, um, we'll make you a squire. Mark can be a squire. And I have more land again. How did that happen? City of Tairoshi Harbor. Well, I don't want that. Yes, it's this. Make new vassal. Excellent. Alright, cool. We see them trying to siege the capital. It will not work. Since we're using the majority of my um, allies soldiers. Might as well put them to use, right? Interregnum. I don't care. There we go. Losing a little bit of dishonor. We are 51, so we probably will die from old age eventually. Alright. Uh, we surrender under these terms. Done. There's no one of value here. Ah, oh, this is the Corsair King stuff. That silly Corsair King. What was he thinking? We should have enough money to, uh... Ah, he surrenders! We surrender on these terms. Done. Corsair King, no more. Um... So did he just give up all his land? Yeah, he became unlanded. Ha, ha, ha. And this guy became a vassal somehow, some way. Um, I'm gonna give you the Isle of Flies. Hold on, before I do that. Let's make High Lordships. You're probably not going to be very good at this, but whatever. And I'm going to grant you the High Lordship of the Western Isles. And now you love us, and I need you to marry, sir. I need you to marry right now. I need you to marry my concubine. I'd rather I keep my concubine. Have Kosomo. She's a genius. She should be able to aid you. No, he keeps the Isle of Toad, son of a bitch. I guess that's to be expected. Rebels have killed Uma. All right. Sucks for her, I guess. And my ass, my um. Oh no! I thought my allies had buzzed off. Seems they haven't. All right, you're done. You're done, boy. And he gets vassalized. All right. And it could also be because of like culture differences and stuff. Marry one of your daughter to the Reach. Well, um, why? Mark Gregor killed her niece and nephew. Yes. Arrange marriage. Zambo and Vicon Pike. Done. Matrilineal. Make it happen. Actually, Zambo can't have more than one child because Zambo is a female. Unfortunately, the Valyrian religion uh, doesn't believe in equality. All right, entire family. There we go. God, I wish we still had slavery. We could have really made a lot of money selling all these people we have in our dungeons right now. Unfortunate. Um, invasion, peasant revolt. All right. One day, one day we will get uh, we will get it back. All right. Um, you know what? I don't need to do that. Just disband the soldiers right here. Okie dokie. The Dog Isles have come to the Basilisk place. Alright, he has that title. 
Son of a bitch. Uh, create the Eastern Isles. And so we've got um, you, you hate me. We've got you, you hate me. And we got you, who kind of likes me. So I'm going to grant you the High Lordship of the Eastern Isles. Enjoy it. Cool. And I can't attack you because that would be considered... Yeah, it would be a truce breaker. I could plot to have you killed, and it seems like that would be very easy to do. It would be very easy to do. Try to employ the Golden Company? I think not. And since the Corsair King already has the title, um, I'm going to have to conquer him for it. But, you know, all things... All things in turn. Probably should do something about this rebellion, since um, no one else seems to want to do anything about it. I will take the legions there personally. It keeps giving Galena all my troops. Stop it, game. We've heard from the Arbor, the negotiations take Okay, good, they've annexed the Arbor. Super. Uh, yeah, this army, auto-balance, auto-balance, auto-balance. No, stop it, Galeno. Stop it. You are not good enough to lead the, the, the main bulk of my forces. Alright, then we're gonna just... We're just gonna descend upon... I think, actually, a lot of the Venatis were killed by rebels. Yeah. Bologna, killed by rabble, imprisoned by us, imprisoned by us, killed by rabble, killed by... Yeah, House Venatis has seen better days. <laughs> Much better days. So his heir is gl is this guy. Where is this guy? He's in his own court. He must be distant... Yeah, it must be like a distant relative or... Oh, it's, it could be a grandson. It is a grandson. Jesus, yeah. House Venatis has been getting shit on. If they had a bloodline, I would be much more uh, lenient. Yeah. Liberation! Who's this? A defending against Iron King in his invasion of the Northern Stepstones. Oh, great. Euron is invading the Northern Stepstones. Great. My co-conspirator, Zadrak, has let me know that everything has been prepared for a little boating accident Corsair Amdaz is soon to be victim of. Why does it show a picture of a Kraken? That's weird. All right. Rebellion is over. All right. Now, if we save 400, we can um, colonize Gagosos again. Ha, ha, ha. 18,000. I have more soldiers than I did before. But I think it would be irresponsible. What? Lady Toronto is independent. Aw, oh, shit, she is. No, I wanted Illyria. I have a feeling that Daenerys will soon have rebellions. I'm hoping. I'm hoping she does. Excellent work. No murderer removed. He has repaired a reputation. Excellent. Success! Corsair Amdaz sank like a stone when the boat he was on suffered an unfortunate accident. Man overboard. <laughs> okay. Now you. Yes. He's going to be much more difficult. What do we need to do? Really? Everyone agrees and you're telling me I only have a 100% chance. Really? That's hard to believe. You just take a crack a crack on him. Yeah, right. Colonize the islands under a shy. I can't do that right now, Tyler. That's way too far away. A lot of different religions in the Basilisk Isles. Yeah. We will get to it eventually. One day. Yeah, see, I've got no one else who can join me. And now he's dead. Apparently, they were already plotting to kill him. Who rules now? I don't know. Damn. Iria-san. Damn. I like it. Very much, I like it. All right. Claim the Howling Mountain for um, this guy. I would prefer to just invade it. Now, could I just kidnap somebody? I can kidnap you, so I don't even have to fight. That's how you win this. You don't even have to fight. Now, raise soldiers, whatever soldiers you've got. Whatever you have, I'll take it.
Reyna shows every sign of being infatuated with Dennis. Dennis Stone. Um, how sweet. You need to leave. You are... You, you need to leave. Why can't I ask you to leave? Oh, because you're, 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 uh, you're not an adult. He needs to go bye-bye. Because he is going to seduce Reyna, and that's not going to be good for the family. So, Illyria has fallen to Daenerys. Geese is ours. We're vomiting now. We're probably going to die. Alright, that plot is in motion. Um, Arbor can't be taken. Uh, most of his former captains, I'll direct, answer directly to you. Oh, looks like the mountain could be dying here. Hmm. Curses. Yes, yeah, so that's great. Take the whole family as captives. All right. Now it seems that I've 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 vassalized that. No, it didn't. That's fine. It's it's not fine, but whatever. Alright, finish off the conquest of the Dog Isles, and I think I can actually recreate the Corsair King title, because the previous Corsair King, he died. Done. The Dog Isles. Alright, I gotta fix my demean. Um, Castle of Pirates, Geese, Little Tyrosh, Tortuga. Oh, that's not good. So I need the City of Pirates, I need the Castle of Pirates. I may not need Little Tyrosh. Could I make Little Tyrosh my designated traditional air title? That's weird. Alright, Rasmus, here's what I need you to do. I need you to marry only adults with high fertility. And the way we're going to figure that out is we're going to do it by culture. We're going to find people that are reachmen. Women that are reachmen. Apparently, there are none. Strong Seed. Um, Viprin. Alright, maybe instead we'll do it by... Um, she's got good traits. Alright, you're going to marry Anwin. And after you marry her, I'm going to give you little Tyrosh. That's how we're going to handle this. Then Mark has to marry somebody too, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then... Oops. Alright, Zambo is blonde and married. Excellent. Reyna will almost be married here soon. Or become rivals with Galeno. Can I just throw him in a dungeon now? Because they're rivals? No. Alright, and you've gotten married. I don't think I can... I don't think I can um, have a wedding for you. I can, actually. Fantastic. Yeah, it'll be a pirate wedding. Yes. And we have cancer. It makes sense. We're 52 years old. Let's try something new. I insist. All right. All right. That might keep us alive a little bit longer. I'll spend, lav yep, spend lavishly. We actually haven't even gone raiding yet, guys. Your demean size went from four to three. Well, now it's back to four, so we're okay. Um, we're fine. If you're very old and your heir is ready to take over, you could go into Valera of the Boat and see if you can get anything. Ooh, that is an option. That is an option. I like that option, actually. Well, Rasmus is ready. I'm just afraid that if, Gre if Pirate King Gregor dies before all of his children are betrothed, They'll break their patrols. As long as they don't get land, though, it shouldn't be a problem. Rasmus should still be able to do his things. All right, Mark. The best education money can buy. Threaten. You would dare, sir. Clap him in chains. And that is the final conquest in the Basilisk Isles. Now, what we must do... So Rasmus probably can wear the mountain's armor, right? So we need to save money for the colonization of Gagosos. She becomes... I don't know who that is. 
Ransom everyone that we can ransom. Sweet. So there's still Noth. Noth can be conquered. More marriages. I like it. Demand religious conversion. No. I had great fun and so did everyone else. Can I host a wedding? <laughs> Another wedding? All right. Let's do more carousing. Get people to like the mountain a little bit more. As much as they can, I suppose. And close relatives. Could forge Clegane armor. Talami. Yep. Sweet. So, in theory, Rasmus's children should be able to marry um, Zambo's children as they'll be cousins, and that sort of stuff is okay in CK2. Alright. Seems to have a natural charm away with words. Loses play. I'm sure he will suffer in life. I shall beat it out of him. Become cruel. Is that useful to us? Um, Ironborn opinion. You think pirates would like cruelty also. Um... No, it's actually not very useful to us. Let's try to make him gregarious. Fantastic. Sweet. Force to train. Man, it didn't work. Ah, oh, shit. Severe illness. What? 18,000. My levies can get all the way up to 28k. God, that's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Man, when we start raiding, we're going to be taking entire castles and stuff. If you have an empire to your title, you can make the Stepsons alert Paramountcy and the air title. Ooh. Killing a dragon would be pretty cool. It's also yeah, it's also a quick way of getting yourself killed, too. Armor, which would be the best. We die in Rastus takes over. Win-win. This is true. You can choose focus and gain some health. Yeah. Mm. Well, if Rasmus is ready... Then what I can do, poor Falia. I don't want to leave her behind, but do we, so. Do we get positives because we're both cruel? No. No, we don't. All right, whatever. Um, this could cause some unrest in the realm, but I think it would be good. Alright. But this could be one of the only chances to be able to do this. And then Rasmus can use his levies. Rasmus can use his levies to start raiding and building a name for himself as a great pirate. Who is this guy? Does he hate me? I'll pay interest on his behalf. It's six gold. Yeah, it ain't nothing. Are you still being invaded by the Greyjoys? Yeah. All right, it is time. Sail into the Smoking Sea, and we'll put the mountain there. A wise idea, make it so. Nope. Now find you intimidating. Oh, now they find us intimidating. Right, so the inheritance law should be primogeniture. Cool. Even though it says open. I was dicking around a little bit with the... Um... All right. It's time to see if craziness happens. We're at sea, in the smoking sea. A lot of time has passed. This guy fucking hates me, so, yeah. Issue a reprimand. A few weeks ago, a Meraki noble named Yaha, apparently he is on tour. He is, he's been particularly friendly with Princess Zombo. Oh, great. And she's lustful. They're both lustful. Oh, what a pleasant man. Yeah, bullshit. Throw him in the dungeons. It means she's cheating. Oh, boy. This uh, isn't... It, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. We're sitting. Um. All right, so our maester's going to leave us now. We need a new court physician. We also need a new vice admiral. Who will be this guy? 
oversee the fleets. Oh, great. Am I going to start getting spammed with the change sound? Recruit of court physician. No, I ransomed somebody. That's what happened. A while after you spread the word that you're seeking somebody. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she can join my court. Open the door a bit quick, and I accidentally stumbled on Mark getting his first kiss. Okay. Teach him about courtly love. Um, He's lustful. That's fine. This is fine. I am not getting anything for being in the smoking sea. All right. Rain is of age now. You pregnant? Come on. Get pregnant. They're all giants. They're all giants and strong. And they're all married to great joys. Even Lelia. Very nice. I'm very pleased with how that worked out. Um, so nothing's really happening. Sitting in the smoking sea. I've never seen that before. Um, but it's kind of boring. So I'm going to return. And we're going to prepare for the great raiding of Lys. Assuming we can't find somewhere else better to raid. Bravos has... Um, um, let's not fuck with Bravos. We could fuck with Pentos, though. We could fuck with Volantis as well. You actually have a treasury. Mormont armor. Lord Freeholder. Alright. You got plenty of ships. Not enough men, though. Not enough men to stop us. We could also raid the Temple of the Lord of Light. Ha ha ha! Pirates! The pirate life is for me! Alright. Cool. That's what we're gonna do. The potential. The potential! I still have more soldiers raised. Where? Where? Oh god, I forgot I own this place too. Alright, so I know I can colonize Gagosos, which would give us... Uh, let's wait till after my first raiding. For right now, though, I'm gonna do what everyone told me I should be doing, and I should be upgrading Tortuga. Or should I be upgrading Geese? Because it's an actual castle, but it's a large castle. We would need 48,000 gold to upgrade to a huge one. No. Um, no. Uh, that's what we'll do. We'll just basic defenses. Get it up to ten level 10 fort. Probably going to leave that place alone. Alright. Cool. Um, it's this kind of this kind of pointless. We actually need a lot of money <laughs> just to get the just to get everyone. We need a lot of money just to be able to pay for all of our armies to raid. But this is gonna be glorious. It'll be beautiful. Raise everyone. Make them all raid. Lise, we're coming for you. <laughs> I don't even need to have all my soldiers raised. It's going to be awesome. Uh, offer to buy her a new one. She's fussy. Great. Get on the ships. Problem is, is that if I land everybody, we may not even be able to do that. Rasmus. Get over here, boy. I'm just looking at the... Oh, we... We, sh we have to go for Volantis. Because they're weak. We have to. Um, everyone go to here. Give them something to do in the meantime. And all you guys can go here. No, go to the, go to Axe Isle. We gotta make sure we set them to raiding too. There we go. And you guys are all raiding too, right? Yeah! So the beginning of this of this of this um, playthrough was pretty damn slow, because we were grinding our way up from just like a minor pirate lord. But like once you get Tyrosh, everything starts to go into motion. Would you uh, great John Umber playthrough? Yes. Uh, it might be already be leading when you when you enter. Uh, maybe. You should make the kingdom of the Basilisk Isles because then you and your children will get the bloodline. I already made the Kingdom of the Basilisk Isles. It's it's right here. Yeah. We get the bloodline from colonizing uh, the Isle of Tears. And I'll do that once I get... Um... 
No, I should make the Basilisk Isles right now, because then all my children will get the blood of the Basilisk. If I do it for... If I wait till I'm Rasmus to do it, only Rasmus and his bloodline will get it. So I see your point. Okay, I see your point. Um, fair enough. Let's try to get this raiding done fast, then. Before Gregor dies. And if that's the way it's going to be... Cancer, and it still has a dual skill of 115. That's impressive. I really wanted to sack Volantis to get stuff, but honestly, we kind of need Gregor to be alive. So let's go ahead and put Rasmus in charge. Give Rasmus all the troops. Yeah, I don't know why the game keeps wanting to give other nobodies my 12k doom stack. <laughs> yes! Um, siege leaders would be very useful right now. I don't think we have any, though. Let's see. Mine of titles. Commander, you're useless. We got flankers. Hmm. You're forgiven? Yeah, you're forgiven. Now get out of my face. Okay, game is breaking. The game is broken. Holy shit. Okay, that was... That was something. Um, best commanders, anyone who's a siege leader? No, of course not. I might just start playing with three times speed, because that was almost... We were, we were entering into almost certain crash territory. Alright. That seems to be a lot more stable. I hope. Even though it still is kind of laggy. What are you gonna do? You have 2,000 men against my 20,000 Pirate King Gregor! Custom House of the Golden Joe Oblivion will be super fun. I want to do that, Buzzard. I want to, but that requires making my own sigil and stuff, and I don't I don't know how to do that. And it's not as simple as just Google it. What is this? Charitable Rascal. Thank the gods for her charity. Yeah, sure. Let's train her in something she's obviously bad at. Let's get a better beard. A much better beard. And Rasmus has already had a child. Clarent Clegane, and he's quick. Oh, he's going to be quick, giant, uh, strong. Who wants Clarent? Prince Mock. He's turning out well. He is, actually. Who wants Clarent? Amazing, Chris, because Joe is alive. Yes, Joe is live. All right, people, who wants Clarent? You're going to be quick, strong, and giant. So, you know... Oh snap. Look how much more successful Gregor has been than Sandor. Ha ha ha. Laugh at the hound. I laugh at you. And we have a second son. Clarent. Clarent will be Tyler. Joe, look into that for you and search a few things. Oh, that'd be awesome. Alright, so Clarent is gonna go to Ty because Tyler was first, and then uh, Peter will go to Buzzard. Damn, Tyler, you're gonna be fucking OP. That's just... That's just awesome. Um, and then Peter is already giant and strong and has the blood of the Greyjoys. Oh. Lucky man. Uh, can you me him after me? I, I did. I did. Yeah, Buzzard, you're gonna get it. Um, there you go. Buzzard Clegane. Blood of the Grey King. You're going to be like the first actual Clegane pirate. Skilled Mariner. Diplomacy. Lo what the fuck? <laughs> Look at that Marshall. Holy crap. Holy crap. I have never seen it that high before. At age zero. <laughs> Holy shit. Giant, plus two. Strong, plus two. Blood of the Greyjoy, plus one. Old Kraken, plus one. Cold Wind, plus two. Red Kraken, plus two. Blood of Fang Tower, plus one. Vile Blood of the Mountain that Rides, plus one. Eleven, Marshall. Can you duel Sandor, lol? One me is enough. Holy fuck. That's... So, what I'm gonna do, and because you guys are, are watching me live, I'll give you a little disclosure. So, uh, uh, I do want to do the, like, g you know, deity roleplay stuff. 
Uh, we'll set, definitely do that um, next week. I have to look into um, observer, observer mode because I've never used that before. But... But I'm thinking about making smaller condensed videos where I accomplish crazy things and I kind of show you the outcome of it. So like, I, it, so like I'll be playing something where like I'm trying to build a house that just maximizes intrigue bloodlines. And then I would just like make a video about where I show you guys, hey, I have a baby here that starts with 20 intrigue at, at zero. And then here's that baby when they're an adult and see what we can do with plotting. We can plot and overthrow anybody. And so I figured that would be pretty pretty good to see. Yeah, Tyler, you're already Marshall Focus. Apologies for the dog barking. Again, it's as soon as I get really... Uh, yeah, it's like when I live stream, that's when we have to bark. Um, all right, I want to keep this open, though, because this is, this is awesome. Look at this loser over here. I can't duel, the, I can't duel Sandor. I'll be merciful. Can I ransom you? I can also visit her chambers. I don't want to do that. That's pointless. Volantis will fall! I claim the first child of that. In the Bloodline playthrough, we should eventually get a character with like 20 and everything when born, to be honest. Mark, I played a custom character. You're describing Varus. This guy would be better than Varus. Um, I had a character I made who... I don't know if you would call it cheating. I gave him all the traits that I essentially built myself in game. I gave myself all the traits that I feel that I have, and then I was just playing for fun. And I was eventually able to get my character to 20 stats in everything. With no bloodlines. So. And he was pretty balanced, alright? I didn't give him, like, you know, genius or anything. Volantis will fall. I keep suggesting a virus playthrough, but the setup is quite difficult. Yes, it is. Ironic, yeah. Dogs barking during the Dog Island Kingdom. All right, we've got more than enough now to colonize uh, Gagosos. I feel I feel good to do that now. Ooh. Um. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I got two castles. And I do actually need both of my castles. Fuck. Rasmus, I thought I gave you little Tyrosh. I guess I didn't. We don't even need these extra soldiers. Rasmus, he's currently stopped backing a plot for us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was supposed to give you land, buddy. Rasmus. Rasmus. Alright. I'm gonna give you... I, I need to keep Gagosos. And I need to keep Tyrosh. I will give you Geese. I will give you the Lordship of New Geese. Uh, do I have the High Lordship with this? Ha ha ha. I do not. We're getting up close enough to where I'm going to be able to forge my own bloodline. Like, my own, my own custom one. And it seems Danny is losing already. Yeah, yeah, she's attacking Karth, I think. Anyways, so Rasmus, I give you new geese. No, I should give it a, I should give it a better name. Um, the Dog Isles is the kingdom. The kingdom of the dog... Okay, so we've got Tortuga. Um, I'm thinking now to all the pirate series I've ever watched. Um... Oh, come on. I have the name of it. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. What is it? It is Nassau. Yes. The Black Sail series. If you've ever seen that, it is great. That show's great. And I think I'm gonna, I, I think that would be perfect. That'd be a perfect name for um, Gagosos. Nassau. And then the High Lordship of Gagosos. Or if that's going to be our capital, though. The future capital. Um, maybe not Nassau. Um, maybe something more akin to, to, to House Clegane. The Dog Isles. Isle of Hounds. This would be the High Lordship. 
of the Isle of Hounds. And they're not Gagosin, they're... I know it's not an object. I know it's not an adjective, but that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna use. Um, large summer city. Oh, it did it again. It made it a city. I didn't need it to be a city. City does give me more money, though. Yeah, fortress. Um, this will be Fang Fortress, and this will be. City of Dogs. I don't know. I'm running out of names here. City of Dogs. Hey! Son of a bitch. Castle of Gogosos. Um, Castle of Fangs. Yeah, there we go. This will be the Temple of Dogs. I don't know. Not very creative. This t Not that creative this time around. Anyways. Okay. You guys go deal with this mutiny. Excellent. Now... Um, oh, I have to rename geese, too. New geese. I don't know what to name these things. Black Sails is amazing. I know, right? My country used to rule the, the seas back in the day. We were the best. Um, what country was that? New geese. That will be the black spot. I can't rename this, can I? Oh, I can. <laughs> no, 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 no. That can actually remain as it is. That's fine. But this will be the black spot, and this will be Davy Jones' locker. There we go. <laughs> I like that more than our capital. Nah, that's fine. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I like it. All right. Now I must give the black spot to Rasmus. Lordship of the black spot. And I'll grant him um, the high lordship of New Geese. Congratulations. Congratulations, Rasmus. Is there anyone leading my armies now? Yeah, there still is. Um, does that help my demean? Not at all. Um, Castle of Pirates. Um, I'm also going to give you little Tyrosh. Now I just need to get rid of one more. I might be able to give a castle to Mark. Mark, I need you to marry right now, and then I'll give you a castle. Question is, which castle am I going to give you? Castle of Pirates. Basilisk Port is in Gogosos. Castle of Fangs is in Gogosos. Uh. I, I don't want to give you any castles here, though. All right, it's going to have to be in Tyrosh. I'll give you a castle there. Do I have castles I can give you there? Ooh, that's not good. Because if I have a falling out with him, I'll lose the majority of my levies. Shit. Um, <laughs> you still have to marry, though. You should marry... She looks terrible. She's a genius, but she looks terrible. Perhaps an Ironborn? No, there's a Stark. Zia Stark. Wildlin. A genius Wildlin. Done. That's who you're going to marry. All right. So we're getting unhappy. They grant lordships. They can... I don't care. Issue reprimand. Volantis. It's time for Volantis to fall. But Mark and I are best friends, though. But he may not be best friends with, um... Rasmus. Rasmus is going to take over everything. Um... That's, like, one of my most important castle to give. I don't think I can give land to you. Like, I need these... Li these castles here need to stay in my control, because I can build gold mines in them. Alright, Mark. I guess I have to do it. Take you on as a squire. Absolutely. Force you to train. Absolutely. Didn't work. Um, look at these traits. Giant. Strong. Brave. Amazing. 75 dual skill with no training whatsoever. 
Um, I probably should have somebody here training my children how to fight, right? Lauren, congratulations. Train the children. Um, and then... Uh, Zia, you can oversee the realm. A stuck. A stuck. Reyna could lead armies too. Jesus. What the shit? <laughs> Their martial skills are ridiculous. All right. God damn. You have some bad traits, though. These are decent traits. Not for the whole court, though. That's fine. That is actually fine for the whole court. Um, yep. Wow. All right. Now, fucking Volantis needs to fall already, all right? New ambition, win the war. I'm at war? All right. Prince Rasmus of the Dog Isles revoked the city of New Geese. So did I lose all that money? Because I didn't have ships there? No, it's there on the ships. 240 gold. How much can they carry all together? 1,400. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Keep going. Keep looting. Eklkane's son just married John's daughter. Ironic, as you killed John's brother and stepmother. This is true. Joe, are there any arenas um, with bloodlines available so the Kleganes can start to get that glorious red hair? Um, I'm very hesitant to start already. Um, are there any reigns left? Potentially. So everyone married a Greyjoy. Everyone married a Greyjoy. Which means that they'll have that black hair. I don't think we can do Reigns. Reigns have great bloodlines. Like, don't get me wrong. Also, I don't think there are any left because they're all killed. But you can thank Tywin for that. Um, offer peace to that, dickhead. Um, yes. Um, ba -da 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 -da. And besides, aren't there... There are other houses that have red hair too, I believe. I just can't think of them off the top of my head right now. Yeah, like don't don't the don't the Webers have strong seed? They don't. This is what's really weird. I think it's great that they have the blood of the Red Widow, but the thing is, is that she's like I played as the Red Widow. She's not good at intrigue at all, and I just lost a lot of money. How'd that happen? Oh, it's because my balance. Oh shit, that's not good. That's not good. How long until that falls? All right, it won't take that long. Go back here. Go back here and do that. Um, I could say I, I'm not really allowed to do that. Kill him. Have him flayed alive. Oh Jesus. Have him crushed. Put him in the bear pit. Let the hunt begin. Oh hell no. Impale him slowly. Have him gored to death by boars. Where is the have him eaten alive by dogs? Why is that not there? Let the hunt begin. <laughs> was killed in an elaborate hunt by Pirate King Gregor of the Dog. That does sound like something Gregor Clegane would do. Funnily enough. Let's hope they can get back to the islands before we go broke completely. Come on. Actually, we're making money now. Ooh, we're making a lot of money now. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. All right, return to the Roin. Excellent. All right, sorry, uh, Mark. I owe you a castle. Um, Lordship of the Isle of Hounds, no. Castle... What is this castle called? The Castle of Pirates. Oh. Yep, there it is. Just to fix my demean, um, it does mean you're going to have one of the most powerful castles in the realm. So... Good on you. Um, build a war chest. Oh, yeah. Always build the war chest. Sam, are you pregnant yet? No. So the only one we have to worry about is um, Rasmus, Rasmus and Mark's children are not going to have the blood of the um, Greyjoys. So we have to figure out how we're going to do that. Essentially, Ty and Buzzard are going to have to marry daughters born of these other children. No. Ty does. 
Buzzard doesn't need to. Buzzard could marry anybody. Buzzard could marry... No, he couldn't marry a rain, but he could marry just about anybody. Good shit. Uh, unhappy about titles. I don't give a fuck. Alright. Now, what is the state of Westeros? Is it still... Um, it is ruled by House Umber now. <laughs> Lord Paramount Horfrost of the North... Giant, strong, stupid as hell, can fight, and is brave and stubborn, patient, erudite. I don't know how you can be dull and erudite. Um, yeah, they did it. Somehow, they fucking did it. I don't know how. He's married to a Bolton. Oh, that'd be a nightmare. Umbers and Boltons. Ruling together. Oh, Horfrost of the North. Oh... So, Queen Jenna the Eagle, uh, Tommen was killed, Eleanor is here, um, so it seems that there's a line of, qu there's a line of queens that are gonna be, um, taking over, and they rule from Midler Point, who rules here, Princess Eleanor, so the capital is here at Midler Point for some strange reason, and the north is ruled by, 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 Lord Eddard Stuck. He swears loyalty straight to the, the queen. But the Umbers control the Red Keep, but they're Lord Paramounts of the North? Kingdom of the North. How can you have a Kingdom of the North? Oh, because it's, it's, it's subservient. So has he been granted like a royal style or something? I have no fucking idea. I have no idea what is going on. All I know is that Midler Point is... The worst place to have your capital, especially when you are of the Iron Throne. Because you have a garrison of 248 guys. I could walk in there right now. Bale's Keep. This is just madness. We can't declare war if we have raised... So I could attack her naturally. Or I could just re-enable... If I re-enable slavery, I can't do that till 8321. Which is actually just later on this year. And then they can attack us again, but at least this time, we'll be able to retaliate. Oh, I accepted to join a plot? I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. How well-liked is she? She's very well-liked. Silly. This is just silly. This is just silliness. Invite to plot. Sargon Botley. Kill Prince Lauren. Decline. Decline. Denied. And more sons of the Greyjoys. Good. In fact, Buzzard, you you might inherit the Iron Isles. Umbers probably got claim on the right. Keep somehow took it, and maybe now they're planning to get a claim on the Iron Throne. Maybe. The Elish one should be laughing. His shitty ass castle is capital of the Iron Throne. Yeah, right. Bravos is thick. Yes. Could you try going into Valyria again? What? Hey, Joey. Um, why? Nothing happened. With the unlost lands, I'm not sure. All right. Uh, I'd have to look. He thinks I owe him fucking money. This son of a bitch. Just taking the black wall. I will take this up. Um, okay, Drogon's dead. Apparently, Reynard Rain has many living descendants. Yeah, Rain Hills. Roger Rain is married to his wife in the Riverlands. Here we go. The Isle of Tears was once the site of a great city founded by the Giscari and captured by the Valyrian Freehold during the Third Giscari War, who renamed it Gagosos. The Dragon Lords used it as a penal colony. I've read this many, many, many times. Um, I will do what is must. I will sacrifice one of the small folk. Why? Because we're Gregor Clegane. He doesn't care. Um, the prisoner is placed, yes, and um, his head gets crushed or, or severed, whatever. As his blood drains from his body, a section of wall lifts up, revealing a secret room full of treasures and the greatest of all a Valyrian steel blade. Now we have two, Basilisk and Poison. It's too bad we're not a house that focuses around serpents. That would have been so, so, so fitting. But you know what? Serpents aren't born giant and strong. They're not born giant and strong, not like we are. Not like the Kilganes! Blood of the Basilisk. 
Gagosi opinion, mystic opinion, can become mystics, that's fine. Mystics actually is a fine trait. Um, Marshall plus one, build time minus ten, that is awesome. But now, we have two. Poison, which we took from House of Unatis, and Basilisk, and De Mountain's Armor. I think it would only be fitting. I have a great idea. All right, so which which sword is going to take priority? Because you know how we've got Blackfire, we got Dark Sister. With this time, the Pirate King realm has Basilisk and Poison. I'm going to give one to Rasmus, and I'm going to give one to Mark. You might need to... Or, yeah, you want me to throw this guy who has cancer in a ship, sail him to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the smoking sea here, and hope something happens. He'll probably get scurvy. Actually, you know what? I can I can actually afford to do that. Um, did I raise all my ships? It looks like I have. Or have I not? Alright. So who wants what? Rasmus, Mark, who wants poison? Who wants basilisk? Mark, the skilled commander, married to a wildling. All right, we're getting more loot there too. Not as much, but yeah, we're we're sacking all of old Atlantis. Actually, you know what? It might not even be worth it. It might be worth it just to go to go to lease and sack that instead. Hmm. Or you know, we could do both. The problem is that this would be a lot faster if I had a siege leader, but I don't. I don't. Hmm. Uh, Folly of Flowers has been a labeled servant. I don't owe her anything. Basilisk is an amazing sword. Poison as it was obtained more importantly than some meager quest to get Basilisk. Can you name Basilisk, Sharp Fanger Dog's Glory? Oh, that's right. I could rename both of them, couldn't I? Poison we got early, early, early on. At this time we're going while well, this is all doing that. So we can rename these. Um, let's rename Poison to something more fitting. Uh, let's see. Sharp Fang or Dog's Glory. I like that. I like both of those. Those are both good names. Dog's Glory. The downside is I can't change the description. Rename Basilisk to Sharp Fang. Sharp Fang and Dog's Glory. And I will give Rasmus Dog's Glory... And I will give Mark. I will give Mark Sharp Thang. Truly a legendary house. Now we are at sea, are we not? Leading troops in the smoking sea. Nothing seems to be happening. Nymeris is almost of age. Mark is of age. News from the battle deck. Your quarter Morena was killed. I don't care. Yeah, the problem is you guys aren't having many children. Where are the babies at, guys? Where are the babies at? Oh, I probably should have had a wedding for you. My brother has not been himself. He has got cancer. Sickness and death await us all. We're enemies, by the way. Take the rest. There we go. Your subject has been imprisoned. So, does that mean somebody became independent? Who rules here now? Ah, oh, Dark Den has been taken by the Greyjoys. Form an alliance. Political concerns. What? I think the I, I think he might have plans. Mary matrilinearly done. It is done, 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 and wedding, wedding. Yeah, that's what I want. A wedding. Yeah, nothing's happening. Gregor is down here. Surprised he hasn't gotten uh, scurvy yet. But nothing is happening. Apparently, the smoking sea is quiet. Best part of holding a wedding. Yeah, we'll show our whole. Yeah, we'll show our houses. Bow. Maybe I have to go to these other parts. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. I am so close to being able to build my own um, bloodline. Assuming we don't get killed. Just 5,000. 5,000. That's all I need. 
This is the Valyrian Straits. The Tyrian Straits. I always like the name of uh, the Tyrians. Of Tyria. Population. Ooh, the majority of the population has converted to the pirate faith. Tortuga is truly the island of pirates now. <laughs> yes. I need a new Seneschal. Or a new Vice Admiral. You're still proselytizing in Tortuga? You don't need to do that anymore. Convert little Tyrosh. Alright. How many more castles? You got one more castle? Alright. I suppose we could also go to uh, New Volantis. One more dance. Entertaining entertainment. It's adorable. I don't want to be part of any plots. Yeah, it's not working. Um, this guy hates me. I'll, I'll pay his interest. It's a, it's a, it, it's, it can be a really cheap way of... Um, really cheap way of getting disposition. He said he might make Empire Summer Sea, then grant the Summer Isles independence. In Sandor have his own bloodline, too bad it didn't get, it didn't get continued. Did he? Yeah, he probably did, didn't he? Blood of the Hound. See, there's nothing interesting here. <laughs> nothing to see here. Alright. Are you planning on getting an Empire to your title? Because if some rebels to get Kingdom of Basil's Isles and wins, they become independent. After many months of rebuilding, the ruins of the Isle of Hounds are finally resembling a habitable place. They get advanced colony. Wow. We're well on our way to getting the Isle of Hounds as our capital. Where we can build gold mines. I wonder if I could build gold mines there right now. Probably not. Advanced colony. Well, hold on. Levy size minus 50%. Supply limit minus one. Fort level minus garrison. This only affects garrisons. It doesn't affect tax revenue. I don't want to go overboard, but um, we also didn't put our treasurer down there to oversee construction. Shit. I yeah. Okay. So I don't want to go c too crazy, but I don't see any reason we shouldn't have um, some gold mines made. Holy crap! That did lower us down pretty bad. Alright, anyways. We're taking the rest of Volantis, and then we gotta, you know, do another deposit of the gold. The legions of Gregor Clegane and his, his pirate hordes. His pirate hordes. The majority of uh, Gregor Clegane's forces, um, his main horde, I like to call the Black Wave. Because that's all you see. Is first you hear them off in the distance, and they they come pouring over the hills, and it's just a it's just an ocean of guys. It's an ocean of buccaneers wearing black shirts. Um, yeah, issue a reprimand. All right, how much time do I have? One fifty six. Someone else, I think it's futile. Mm. Talking about the Empire of the Summer Sea potentially changing government type, and it might. It might. I do have to keep an eye out, though, because, you know, we don't... We don't want anybody becoming inadvertently independent. Don't need that right now. And Rasmus rules from the black spot. Great. Of the Dog Isles. I still have my main... Main force of raiders here. 300 gold. Very nice. 16k. We'll probably have to stop at... What the hell? Oh, yeah, right. She came from our concubine. That makes sense. All right, but we do need to event eventually, like, kind of keep this in, um, you know, you know, uh, kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. More levies. All right, can you guys get more troops? Not really, but you can do more raiding, and that's what we need. I'd also would like to see what our income's gonna be once we have those gold mines set up. The Black Wave comes to lease. Ha ha ha! Clegane is hanging in there. Even with cancer, he hangs in there. He could he could kick the butt bucket at any moment, though. All right. So our current treasury is nine point five two, which is high. That's high for pirates. My realm size isn't even close enough to renounce piracy yet. 
to renounce the piracy. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Even faster build times. I like it. Come on. Come on. All right. So gold mines are done there. Um, apparently Viserion... No, Rhaegal. Rhaegal killed Viserion. Drogon died from a serious wound. Viserion was killed by Rhaegal. Great. The dragons are killing each other. Gold mine. Gold mines are all up and running. And my income has changed. Not at all. A former Ironborn magistrate wants to teach Nymeris. Alright. Alright, it's at 10 now. It went up by a dollar. It's something. And we continue to siege Lys. Let's see. I will order Salador to stand down. He's my vassal now. He rules this mutiny. That's too bad. Because I really, I really would have liked to marry Lady Iria. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, let's see. You like me? I will order him to stand down. He'll be brand branded as a traitor. Yes, he will. And you're supposed to be training the children. Are you actually training the children? I don't know. And Zambo has had a kid, too. Yes! Humphrey! Oh, Humphrey, no! Oh, he's a drooling imbecile. That is so unlucky. I'm guessing nobody wants to be Humphrey. Well, yeah, that's just how bad hum imbecile can be. Imbecile is a terrible, terrible, terrible trait to have. They say that... So what is this? What? Who is this? Question the prisoner, my concubine. Better take her back to her quarters. So, well, the only thing that Humphrey's really good for is probably breeding, but even that's kind of risky because he's still an imbecile, and that can pass on to children. Not good. Not good. But we are well... Yeah, we are, we are making a very, very good... Um, it's too bad Humphrey is... Um, is, is is a boy, because if he was a female, we could marry him to Tyler. What what is this? What why do you have why do you have a sibling? Oh you clown. Erasmus, you clown, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're messing up the plan. You're destroying the plan. What a clown. Oh my god. God. Can you plot to kill him? Yeah, and apparently it'd be very easy. Oh, man. Is it worth it, though? He's probably gonna get killed off. How about Daemon? Keep the bloodline pure. Mark has a kid now. Amorai. Fantastic. She's giant already. Now, she's gonna... She can marry Tyler. No, she can't. No, she can't. She's actually not very useful. She could marry Greyjoys, though. And keep the bloodline pure. Cleganes and Greyjoys. A union of the Hound and the Squid will rule the waves forever. <laughs> Can you send the idiot to the wall? I think that's the safest place. Yeah, probably. Name Humphrey to Imbecile. I'm about to. Pike is strong, though. Iron Throne could also subjugate Iron Isles, so we need to take it before them. Well, I was going to take the Iron Isles, but they're ruled by Euron Crozai at the moment. And he's got magical powers that I am... Uh, afraid of trying to fight, so I'm kind of waiting for him to die off. Unfortunately, by marrying their family, it's going to make it... Yeah, it's going to make it almost impossible. But the good news is that Buzzard might actually inherit the Iron Isles and the Dog Isles. Be just, just through marriages. So they'll have all this here, the Iron Fleet, as well as the Fleet of the Pirates and the Stepstones, well, the Dog Isles now, and the Basilisk Isles, and Geese. And I have great plans. Um, we're not going to take Lise, because Lise is garbage. But we'll probably take Lorath. I might even take the Ibn. I want to take this. I want to essentially take the Jade Gates. I want to take all of this here, this, this. I want to colonize Marhai and the Manticore Isles. I want to take Lang. I want everyone to fear. We could even take the Summer Isles if we want to. Everyone will fear the Cleganes at Sea. Oh, yes. How much time do I have? All right, guys. I have to end the live stream. This has been fun. I'm definitely going to continue this. 
definitely going to continue this. We might continue this tomorrow or sometime next week. Plans. See, this is why you have to consolidate your bloodlines. You have to, when you think about your family and their bloodlines combining with another bloodline, you can't just hop around to a bunch of different bloodlines because that gets confusing and messy and it makes it too easy for certain bloodlines to just not, you know, get connected that well. And of course, as I'm doing my whole exposition or my outro, you know, interruptions, but when you, when you like concentrate on like one bloodline, it has dramatic effects. Dramatic effects in the form of not Tyler, but Buzzard. Buzzard. He he is the one we will look to. He is the example. At age zero, he had 11 Marshall. And now he has 14 with the blood of the Basilisk. And for diplomacy. God. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> That is so ridiculous. I am so pleased. But when's the next live stream? Tomorrow, same time. Tomorrow, same time. You guys will see. You'll be able to see it. I'll have it on the channel. Uh, be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, more live streams tomorrow because tomorrow's Thursday. Yes, and then Friday we're going to have the Blood Raven and Sea Star, uh, Blood Star live stream where they're essentially ruling Skagos, and I think we're going to take over the North with them. It'll be very interesting to see how the Blood Raven, um, Sea Star bloodline kind of like what, like how they intermingle. As for how they're going to expand, I don't really know. We'll have to see what our options are. Yes, I know I couldn't marry Umbers and stuff, but we always try to marry Umbers. We always try to, but not. It's not very successful most of the time, honestly. We'll have to see, because we'll also have claims on the Seven Kingdoms, so we could very well establish a kingdom here, and then take the Iron Throne, or get independence. Who knows? But I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion, and this has been Pirate King Gregor the Mountain